well, there's a sign, Roy, that won't be here for much longer. We're here at the Pithead Baths. We're going to find out the procedure that a miner goes through on his way before he goes underground. And with me is Stallion. Morning, Stallion. Do through there. That's right, Stallion. Don't ask. Now, let's go through and you show me the procedure, what you do normally, because this is the afternoon shift, isn't it? Yeah. I say we start at 12, work till quarter past 10. When we come in, this is where we clock on. And then we walk down, all, all this side of the bar is just clean, clean clothes. You've got to go down your change in your clean clothes, take your clean clothes off, and then you cross over to the dirty side. Now take a look round, Rob, because this is the clean side. It's all segregated, yeah. isn't it? Even the canteen is segregated. Yeah, you've got the clean side and dirty side in the canteen as well. Right, through the showers, now no peeping at home, okay? If there's any ladies watching, and I'm sure there are, Roy's a bit of a sex symbol, Cover your eyes up at this point, okay? You might see a few men. It's not only the miners that work here now that use the collar, is it? Oh, no. Uh, there's a lot of older miners. They come in here to have a shower, or they use a canteen, have a, they dinners in the canteen, you know? Hang on a sec. Rob? A little look. That's enough, that's enough. Back, back, back. So they use it for the canteen, they're for the showers? Yeah. I say there's a lot of uh, the older retired miners in the village. You still use the uh, facilities in the pit. The and they showers. say they're actually going to not... Uh, they're going to actually knock it all down? Well, more than likely, as they've done with other collieries, you know. Once they close the pit, they knock everything down, like, so all this will be gone. Okay. Let's head down this way, Rob. So, what will you do when it, when it closes? Well, I am going to clue. There's so much unemployment now, you know. With the Uber's closing as well, there's uh, nothing else for us around here. That would be the nearest place. I mean, there's nothing else in Treharis. Mirth will be the nearest place, and Uber is not doing anything. No. I know, so it's looking very, uh, very bleak, especially in the valley, anyway. Well, look, you've got a day's work to do. I wish you well with that. What okay. would be the next stage now for the miner? Where would he go next? Well, after he had his, uh, put his dirty clothes on, he goes into your then to get his lamp. Right, the lamp room. Thanks very much, okay. Stallion. This way we go, then. Through we go. Some real living miners. These are not actors. Morning, how are you doing? Oh, not too bad. It's Malcolm, isn't it? That's it. How are you feeling about uh, the situation here at the moment, Malcolm? Not very happy, to be honest. No? Not very happy at all. How does the future look for you? Very bleak, I think. The same for us all, anyway, to be honest. But, uh, well, we've got to make a most of a bad situation, haven't we? You're right. I'll let you get on with it. Okay. Thanks. Thank Shall we go, then? Look at this. A myriad of corridors. This is, these are the lamps that they use. Different, look at the little, little gauges there to measure the power in them all. It's a fascinating place, actually. And if we come through here, some more of these real-life miners. And something that surprised me, look down there. Canaries. I didn't think. Hi, how are you doing? All right. I didn't think that you still had canaries in the pits. Yes, we still keep them at the colliery. Yeah, but you don't take them underground. Only in emergencies, but they're not used uh, as such like they used to. Yeah. Those fellas that I've seen a few years. Uh, Old guys. They well looked after. Let's meet now then the chap who's in charge of the lamp room. That's Paul Chapman. Paul, good morning. How are you, Paul? How are you feeling about the situation here? Uh, it's terrible. It's like kicking the teeth. I know what to do for the best. Isn't it? How long have you worked here? Twelve years, maybe. Yeah. So Always in the lamp room? No, I started out on the screens out there. I've been in the lamp room now about six, seven years. Ever underground? No, I've never been underground. No? No. Look, I'm going to go out and we're going to chat with some more miners to find out how they feel in just a moment. We're going to go to shop number two. I'm going to need a hat, though, to wear. So I'm going to need a very big one. I got you. Is that the biggest you got? Yeah. Right, hats on then. We'll come back to you a little bit later on, Roy, when we'll be outside in the cold.